In this week's Bleach, Yuha gives Ishida a taste of himself. What is this? Four seconds. Is that? Three seconds. It smells like... Clean my pee! What is up everybody, Bleach is back once again and today we're talking about episode 14, The Last Nine Days. It begins with the birth of Yuha and beautifully captures the rise of his power and following as a god among humans. We then get this season's new opening, and I gotta tell you that I prefer it over last season's. I don't think I'm generally alone by saying this, but I've always loved seeing characters in the Bleach universe placed in a regular setting. I didn't know I needed to see Yuha in a helicopter, but I did, and it was hilariously awesome. Back to the episode, Ichigo walks and talks with Ichibe about how the Soul Society failed big time last invasion. When Ichigo tries to leave, he's told that even as he is now, there's no way he could ever beat Yuha. Well, I just reject your hypotheses. Over at the Vandenreich, Yuha holds a big meeting for the Sternritters about how they've been in hiding for so long, and now is their time to rise up and defeat the Shinigami. <laughs> Little louder for the people in the back. The ceremony concludes with Uryu's introduction as Yuha's successor. This throws everyone for a loop, including Bambietta, who orders a guy to help her blow off some steam. The big question still remains. Did they f A small gathering of Sternritters try to figure out why the hell Yuha would pick some random kid to be a successor. Baz is clearly the most annoyed, even questioning Hoshwal's compliance with the situation. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Meanwhile, Uryu meets with Yuha, asking why he was chosen as his successor. He's told that he was the only one to survive his Oz wallet, and therefore must be more special than the average Quincy. Uryu proceeds to drink Yuha's blood, which will awaken his powers. He is gifted the same script as himself, letter A. <sighs> yeah, A for ass. <laughs> At the Soul Palace, Ichigo is told if he wants to beat Yuha, he has to surpass being a Shinigami. Ichibei leads him into a place that only the Soul King can grant permission into, if he deems someone worthy of surpassing. Just before things can get interesting, we cut to the World of the Living, where Shinji requests that Hiyori and the other visors assist in fixing the distortion between Soul Society and the World of the Living. Hopefully the anime adds scenes of them actually doing it, because from what I can remember from the manga, it amounts to absolutely nothing. Oh cool, back at the Soul Palace, Alice, Rukia, and Renji are also training with Ichibei by just standing in front of each other. This is a step up, though, from when they were reduced to floor mats after first arriving. Also, Byakuya is fully recovered. Oh, wow. Anyway, cut to the world of the living with Ichigo's friends instead. That's very uninteresting. Shunsui is there to tell Tatsuki, Keigo, and Mizuru that there's a possibility that Ichigo will not be able to leave the Soul Society after his training. He gives them soul tickets to visit Soul Society in the small chance his prediction is correct. So you're telling me there's a chance. In Hueco Mundo, Orihime and Chad take a break from training, talking about how she hopes there's peace between the worlds after this is all over, and... Oh shit! That's a Riruka and Yukio cameo right there! The episode ends with the Vondenreich completely engulfing the Soul Society as the Stern Ritters begin their invasion. Yuha recites the old poem about how it takes the king 900 years to regain his pulse, 90 years to regain his mind, nine years to regain his power, and nine days to regain the world. Within these last nine days, they will take over everything. All right, let's everybody just calm the fuck down. My overall thoughts on this episode, it was good. Totally fine. It's so great to have Bleach back and looking like a million bucks. It's still amazing how incredible this new art style is, almost as if I'm watching crisp movie quality stuff. They're also keeping up that excellent pace it maintained in season one because there's so much stuff to cover, and to me, it's not feeling rushed. They haven't skipped over anything important, but also filling gaps that the manga left. This definitely felt like a sort of setup episode for the bigger things to come, especially next week. Get all that boring stuff that took weeks to cover in the manga into one solid episode. I can see why an anime only may think it's going a little too fast, but for me, it's working much better. We did get some cool little manga nods, like Yuha's royal guards on stage during Uryu's introduction, and Riruka and Yukio reporting to Urahara. We got a little bit more of the stern Ritters, mostly voices for Bambi's crew and Askin, but watching villains interact with one another is always an interesting clash of personalities. Like when Giselle essentially called Candace a slut. Boom! 
Roasted. The parts that intrigued me the most was the added material of Ichigo with Ichibe and having to surpass a Shinigami in order to beat Yuha. It's some extra training that I think we deserve in order to give Ichigo more screen time that he needs while the Soul Society invasion is going on. And of course we got our new opening and ending. I enjoyed these two far more than last season's. Like I said earlier, I love seeing Bleach characters in totally different, normal settings, and this new opening utilized that perfectly. Randomly gave me Durarara vibes. The ending was good too, with the song getting stuck in my head for a little bit there, and the creative use of the Stern Ritters hiding in the shadows of the Soul Society. But let me know what you guys thought of the episode. Want to hear from some anime onlys on how they felt about it as a season premiere, but of course MAGA fans as well. Who knows, I may be inclined to bring back comments of the week. So please don't forget to comment, as well as like and subscribe for more Bleach content. I'd love to know if you guys are enjoying the little shorts I've been posting sporadically. You can follow me on social media, Tensazangetsu59, on Twitter, and and Instagram. Links to those are available in the description. I'll be back next week for episode 15, Peace from Shadows. Peace!